joining us tonight, I'm Scott Martin. Columbus city leaders met tonight, and one of those items on the agenda was the city's hotel and restaurant tax. Our Quentin Smith was at today's council meeting. He joins us live in the studio with more. Scott, the current tourism tax expires in 2018. Now, currently, up to 15% of those proceeds go towards the link. That's equal to about $220,000. But during tonight's meeting, the CEO of the Columbus Visitors Bureau, Nancy Carpenter, and the CEO of the GTR Development Link, Joe Max Higgins, presented a new proposal before the board. They're asking for a flat rate of $250,000 to go towards the link. That money will go towards economic development and tourism. Now, tonight, the board did not make a decision on the matter. Mayor Robert Smith says the board needs a little more time to discuss the issue. We hope that uh, that will be uh, considered while we in negotiation processes. So, uh, like I said, uh, I'm quite sure there will be several discussions. Uh, there will be several meetings prior to uh, the uh, mayor and the council making a final vote. We would like to take a bill uh, to the legislature that they will approve uh, that, that states the 2% uh, restaurant tax is still in place and that uh, the amount that is given to the uh, Golden Triangle Development Link would be a flat $250,000 instead of, as it reads now, up to 15%. Now, Carpenter and Higgins both went before the Lowndes County Board of Supervisors last week to get their approval on the proposal. They hope to hear back from both boards within the next month. Scott?